Okay, so now that we have this ability to work with uh, Boolean expressions, the question is, how do we, you know, what do we, how, how do we work with them? It, yeah, I know I can do, you know, in this case, uh, three greater than four false, but okay, what's the purpose of that? Well, what happens is all of a sudden, this is where that fork in the road can come into play. We can use something known as an if statement. Now you see right beside if is kind of this little block known as a conditional statement, followed by our little colon. What happens all of a sudden is when I want to make a conditional statement, let's say for example I go a little more fancy, I, I want to create a program to work off of. So sorry, all of a sudden I want to say let's, let's just pick some values, x equals 25, y equals 50. All of a sudden, I've got two numbers. I want to compare them. I want, to, I want Python to tell me which one is the bigger one. I know that 50 is the bigger one due to being able to rationalize uh, numbers, but I want Python to tell me which one is the bigger one. Well, what I can do is I can come in here, and I can say if. If all of a sudden is, as you can see, it kind of changes color. It activates itself. That's a special word inside of Python. Now, the second portion you see is I need a conditional statement, so I separate it, and now I'm going to basically give it one of those Boolean expressions that I've just created. In my case, I want to see if x is less than y. Well, x less than y. If this is the case, then all of a sudden what I should see is print y is bigger. We save it. I'll just save it as demo.py. And so as I run this, I see that. I see y is bigger. Now something to take note of is you notice this indentation here. That indentation is to indicate that this only is going to occur if this is a true statement. If it's not a true statement, this gets ignored. Case in point, let's change x to 55. Now all of a sudden when I run this, I see nothing. I know I see y is bigger up here, but that was from our old version. It's gone. I didn't get a print statement this time. So what can I do? Well, there are a few things I can do. I can reset this. But the big one, the easy one, is now that we're dealing with that fork in the road, I can look to have what we call my else statement. Now you notice I put it on the same level as my if. This way it's sort of now kind of, you know, if this is false, this is what gets activated. Print x is bigger. Now you might be asking yourself, uh, well, so what can we do with this? You know, maybe I, I, maybe you accidentally come over here and you print hello. Just as a formality, this is going to error. Ah, I didn't like that sound. The reason why is because suddenly this kind of cancels out my if statement. Now it's saying that there's you know, only an if statement, no else attached to it. If I come in and put that tabbed inward, then all of a sudden what I should see is y is bigger, hello. I see them both because they both are inside those tabs. If I swap that now and run it, then what I see is only my x is bigger than 1. 